to kind of do that on some of the coaches real and kind of make that drift? Yeah, I wouldn't really like expect for like a head coach to just go straight down to Enterprise $13 dollars away just to be my family, but that was awesome. Just curious, uh, this coach made a point this week that offensive players have to stay sleeveless. We're getting cold now, and you mentioned a, a player from the South protesting on that, or maybe that was in the past. Are you ready for sleeveless? You're going to say. Yeah, I'm gonna just keep on coming out every day sleeveless. So I, mean, <laughs> I don't really pay that no attention because I always wear the sleeveless. Cold weather is not a shock to your system. I like it. Clearly we made some changes in the run game. I would say set off the line. What did you see that worked well with those adjustments? How the old line was just able to pick up everything, open up gaps for me and Chase to get open and pick up good yardage. And when he's getting five, six, seven yards to carry, and then you do as well, just you kind of build off of each other's performance. Yeah, uh, we just keep on going off each other. Like we just like energy boost. We just keep on feeding off each other energy. And Chase said that you, know, you, you talk about spending time together. But you watch film. You go out to eat. Just how, how important was that to have maybe a veteran guy that's a lean on? Uh, for class, but just like teaching me the ways and like how the game's supposed to go. I pick up a lot from Chase from film study. What is, what is he, does he see things maybe that you don't yet? And yeah, he see like a lot of things different, like cuts, like holes, like maybe I was able to go this way from this way. He like opened up my eyes more and like helped me with my vision. How do you, you see that translating <coughs> on the field during games? It was like maybe something like you know, just in the moments like Chase saw this and like you see that now. Yeah, I, I really think that helps me a lot in games. How do you explain what it's like to control a game running the ball that much as a running back and, and knowing you're going to pick up five, six, seven yards per carry? Well, I mean, that really does come up from like the boys up front. <laughs> they help me get all my yards. Don't want. How much confidence do you have when you guys are able to control the tempo like that? We have a lot of confidence. I mean, nine overtimes, that was just wild. <laughs> the game should have been over, I would say, probably like second overtime, but I had dropped the pass. But other than that, yeah. Josh, I'm just trying to wrap my head kind of around your journey to this point. Have you had a moment to step back and just kind of realize, like, you know, committing to Illinois in December, I think it was, and then now you're picking up 150 yards at Penn State, and, you know, however many Purdue. Is all that set in for you yet? Uh, no, sir, not at all. <laughs> I don't really, like, just sit and, like, think about it. I just keep on going. Josh, uh, Tony Peterson said that there was a point in training camp where the light bulb just kind of flickered on for you, you know, you're struggling as a true freshman and then just kind of picked it up. What, what changed for you in the, in the middle of camp, you think? I had to get serious and focus in because all the guys in the room was counting on me. And they was all telling me I got to keep on coming with it every day at practice. Then uh, early in the season, you guys are playing a lot of running back. I think like five running backs yeah, in the first five. games or so. Um, do you feel like you can get a little bit more momentum when you're coming in for a full series like you did on Saturday? What you mean, like? Is it easier for a running back to, to get rolling downhill when you you know when you can play a whole series and get a bunch of carries in a row? And that kind oh of yeah, I really believe that. I want to go back to Chase. I mean, so 